I want the biggest hubs. It's a celebration cake um, for my hips that I'm gonna make. Bobby Joe Wesley is on a one woman mission to become the proud owner of the world's biggest hips. The last I measured my hips, they were almost 100. My goal was to have the biggest hips. Last time we met Bobby, she had hips that measured an eye-watering 93 inches. My hips are sexy. I like them. They're like saddlebags. <laughs> and it's not only Bobby who likes her supersized hips. This mother of five has found herself with quite the fan base after posting photos of her figure on social media. I'm famous for my hips and my butt, yeah. <laughs> it's the first thing people notice. But Bobby's mission is coming at a cost. Having big hips is kind of difficult. When I go down up the steps, I have to turn sideways. I can't sit in chairs with arms. The last time I went to a doctor, I weighed in at 542. I'm still five foot two inches. Today, nutritionist Nadia Sharifi has come to visit Bobby. Yeah. When did you find out that you had a thyroid condition? Six years ago. Six years ago. And yeah. uh, did you gain more since then? Or? Um, yeah, I've gained a lot. So I want you to be able to know that eating healthy is very important, right? Right. Yeah, you're right. So, and even even if you make a tiny little step, it's better than no step at all. Right. Bobby puts a lot of her weight gain down to having an underactive thyroid and insists it's not down to her diet or lifestyle. When people look at me and they say, oh, she's big, she must eat a lot. No, to be honest, I don't eat a lot. It's medical. Sometimes I don't eat breakfast. I really don't eat lunch. I'll pick here and there, but I'll eat like a, a dinner. Nutrition as we went through her day was a big part of it. She doesn't eat enough and when she does, it's unhealthy food. So thyroid is a little part of it, but really her nutrition and the way she eats is the bigger part. Yeah, when I get people on social media who says I'm fat, I really don't react to it because I am fat. I think the consultation went really well. Um, you know, she's definitely in a place where it's very hard for people to be, you know. It's not that she needs to lose 50 pounds, she needs to lose over 200 pounds. I may be big and fat, but at least I have some type of shape, you know. And it's, it's who I am. Her, her claiming that she has the, the world's biggest hips is definitely um, a self-protective mechanism. You have to understand she can't control a lot of things in, in her life, right? But one thing she can control is how big she can get her hips. She's really truly a ticking time bomb. It's a life or death choice at this point. Despite being told she needs to lose weight, Bobby wants to continue on her mission to get the world's biggest hips, even if it's putting her own life in danger. I understand that, that I'm putting myself at risk by trying to get the biggest world's Guinness records, yes. It's just, I want to be known for something. And if it means having the world's biggest hips, then that's what it, that's what I want.